All right. FC Extra Time is presented by Globant and Craig Burley has been keeping himself very much in shape right now. He is fighting fit. I'm hoping he'll go get my questions for extra time for me. Oh, so you just flap them? <laughs> no, we'll just read them. <laughs> we'll just if read them that, off if the that's all, if that's all we can, working too hard for it. If that's all we can spend on Christmas decorations, I'm not oh, walking. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is that the festivities? It's yeah, well, Christmas. it's holiday decorations. That's not a decoration. The holidays are 12th of December. And there's some nice ones below us as well. You just can't see because of the topic bar. Yeah. Anyway. Well, what's the point of having the topic bar down there? We need <laughs> to sort this. I mean, that, that there, that is, that, that needs to that. go. That's a waste of time. All right, we're going to wait for these questions to come up. Shaka Hislop is with us as well. He's going to be answering <laughs> your questions and not falling asleep on the job, hopefully. Do you want me to go and get them? Uh, yes, please. I'm, Look, I'm, we I'm well rested now, okay, don't shape worry. Right now. We blew the budget on camels. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Go on, we will start with the first one while Craig brings the rest of them. Was it better having the World Cup in a small place geographically like Qatar with all the games and fans in basically the same place and the players don't have to travel long distances or better in other World Cups with the games and fans far away from each other? I think Craig's done one, so I'll ask you that, Shaka. Is it, is it nice to be able to bounce from stadium to stadium in this World Cup? I, I think it's a whole lot nicer in a small country when you can stay centrally and travel to see whatever whatever games you like, regardless of, of, of who you're supporting. And, and, and you know how it is in these World Cups, you're not quite sure what tickets you're going to get. Sometimes you want to go and see different countries uh, or different countries play. And given how small Qatar is and the proximity of, of the stadiums to each other, you're able to do that. I have to say, I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience here, being able to go to different games, sometimes different games on, on the exact same day. I, I don't think we could have done that at any time before, and certainly won't be able to do that in 2026. Yeah. All right, all right, Shaq, we get it. We get it. Thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. And on, your off days, on, on your off days, you could go ride camels. <laughs> I'm just the saying, next, there's you a lot of right questions here, that's, everything is that's, great. That's why I took so long over there. There can't be the amount of questions that are on there. There's three sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I might end up repeating myself then. Yep. Second Might question for Shaka. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> <laughs> Second question for Shaka. How big a psychological edge would Lloris have had over Kane when he stepped up to take the penalties, given their playing history? Um, listen, I, I always see, I've, I've, I've looked at all these penalties from, from the eye of the, of the goalkeeper. And in the first penalty, Yoris goes low to his left, Kane goes high to Yoris's, Yoris's right. In the second penalty, and I, I keep saying this, it's all about the first step. I think Yoris gets the first step and times it perfectly well. And then he goes high right, exactly where Harry Kane went with his first. And I think Harry Kane kind of sees the move and tries to go down the middle as a result, but, but just overcooks it slightly. And so it becomes a... a so I, the way I see it, Yoris wins what was a psychological battle around that second penalty. Should have had a psychology coach for the penalties, Craig. Yeah. What was your strategy, Shaq? Just accept it was going in and <laughs> move yeah. on? I just, I just turned it back in the net and just waited. They're like, ah, it's going in. It'll be all right. Yeah, but right. It's interesting. If you were to take it again, would you? What, what would you do? How would your mind work? If you're in the same game and you have to take another one? I've taken three. Right. Okay. Of course you have. So how did, how did your mind work on each of those? You don't want to know how my mind works. <laughs> Trust me. And my mind was the keep. I went the same way twice. <laughs> all right, Shaq. That's enough. I went the same way. First twice. <laughs> the first twice. The first twice. The first. You're confusing me now. I know, I'm sorry. I think you The first say two that. penalties, I, I went the that. same way across the goalkeeper. And my thinking was he was going to go the other way than where I went the first time. But he went the same way. It just so it happens, I hit it hard enough and high enough into the corner. It's a game of bluff. And then the last one, I changed my mind a bit like maybe Harry Kane did. I was changing my mind as I was running up. <laughs> Because I was, I didn't know if he was going that way, that way, or it's hard, man. Well, that's that's Shaka, right? So people always talk about, and I, and I actually believe, I actually believe that whether it's Harry Kane or anybody else, if they put it where they want to put it and they hit it hard enough, 
The goalie's not saving it. Would you agree with that, Shaq? Yeah, I, so, I, I totally agree with that, uh, Stevie. I, I think if Harry, if Harry Kane goes with the exact same penalty, even if Yoris anticipates that, even if he gets the timing just right and that's where he goes, Harry Kane hits them so well that I, I don't think Yoris is, is saving it regardless. He gets closer, but I, I don't think he's saving it. If you f Harry Kane put out, uh, I don't follow Harry Kane or any footballers, to be quite frank with you, they bore me to death. But I saw somebody retweeting when he put a message out about what it meant and he felt sorry and blah, blah, blah. And you've only got to click on the, reply, the replies to see the morons out there, <laughs> you know. It's a dangerous game, the comments, the replies. Well, I was sometimes just, very entertaining as well. Well, I was intrigued because <laughs> I just thought, well, how's this going to go? And I looked down a little bit, not far, because it was, as it said, on the tin. But, you know, the, idiot, the idiots out there saying, look at the size of the goals, you've just got to hit the target, all this sort of stuff. People who have just <laughs> no idea that you have a highly paid professional goalkeeper in there who's won the World Cup and who's trying to out outfox out you, basically, for want of a better term, and trying to get in your head. And honestly, you've just got to, I suppose, that's normal, isn't it? But, you yeah. know, I hope, hopefully he never read them. I'm sure he didn't. No, I'm sure he didn't. Can failure in the World Cup motivate top players to win the Champions League this season, or will it affect them negatively? No, it shouldn't make any difference. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Try harder? <laughs> no. Proper players, proper players understand that your career goes up and down. There's the great highs and sometimes there's the great lows. Hold on, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> and so you accept that and whatever card you're dealt, <laughs> you move I thought on. it was more about nothing. <laughs> what the yeah. Fuck is? yeah, well, it depends who you're playing for, doesn't it? If you're playing for the Brazilians, it's a bit more like that, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. Can, um, yeah. That's why I scribbled them out, because I right. end up reading it again. Oh, go on, read it again. It was such a good question. Because <laughs> yeah. he'll do that again. So who, no. right? <laughs> <laughs> to anyone, should Canada feel less devastated regarding their World Cup exit, now seeing that they had two World Cup semi-finalists and a strong Belgium team in their group? Anyone's... Who is anyone? Anyone. Yeah. Well, he's not here, is anyone he? In front. Anyone's not here. They should be pleased with the way they played for the two games. They were unlucky. They could have, they could have won the two games. They didn't. Sometimes that happens. But the way they played, absolutely, they should be they should be happy. Stevie, looking back at all your player and managerial honours over the years, which one award or achievement are you most proud of? What's that? No. What's that one that caught all over here? That one. The shield. The shield. <laughs> I didn't even know what it's called. Oh, I've no yeah. idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, need get, you, you need to get yourself on Herc and Seb, by the way. Oh. It's seven. Oh, seven excuse me. It's seven, seven Herc. Well, Herc told me it was Herc and Seb. But seven Herc. We're seven. currently discussing <laughs> Pulisic's ingrown toenail, I would imagine. Get the the shield. It, they they get into the, the final of the shield <laughs> and then they blew it for him. <laughs> the shield. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I would have to say that the, you know, winning the FA Cup. The year of Hillsborough would have to be up there, but the rest are just a smidgen below it. It's everyone's all, brilliant. Everyone's great, fantastic. See oh, how she just why not? Have to. She just squibble it yeah. out. Otherwise, it's just all writing. Why don't you go for the straight the one? They're like shh, Gonsville. I could just do this with it. Hi, Checker. Sideways. As a man who knows a few things about holidays, oh, which of the four oh, countries ever. remaining in the World Cup would you like Ooh. to visit, and why? Can it quite a belter? Oh, I'd like, to, I'd like to visit Morocco most. Mm. I know quite a few people who've been to Morocco and absolutely love it. And architecture, unique, food, exceptional. I'm a little bit of a foodie. You may or may not have guessed. Um, so of the four, without question, it's, it's, it's Morocco. I've been to France, um, not been to Argentina or Croatia, but Morocco easily. Architecture? Architecture. It's very cultured, Chakra is. I, thank you very much, Kay. That That's exactly right. You know when he was on that exactly camera? Exactly right. He was on that camera. He was sitting, he was definitely in the back seat, wasn't he? 
It was, he was, he was in the wrong that. seat. He was, this. he was on the back seat if camels have seats. <laughs> on the back seat. But on this one, for purposes of this story, he's got a seat. And the camel turned to him. Did you see the camel turning and going, but time you had a holiday, big man. You like a holiday. <laughs> 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 Camel can talk. <laughs> which which, which of the four nothing nations? I, nothing I can say to that. Well, nothing. Croatia, I've been to Zagreb, but I've not been to the uh, the uh, seaside resort in Croatia, Dubrovnik. It's supposed to be really nice. So you'd like to go there? Sorry? We'd like to go no, there. No, no, I'm getting there. I'm biding time to think about the other teams that are in it. <laughs> <laughs> Morocco, yeah, it's good for holiday destination. Who's the other team? Argentina. France. France. I've been, well, everybody's been to France. Everybody. I'd like. I'd actually like to go to Argentina. Good choice. I've been to Brazil when the 2014 World Cup was on. That's a different story. Wasn't a pleasant stay, I have to say. I'd love to go to Argentina. And just for one of the Argentinian steaks, they're supposed to be the best in the world. He's nodding his head, and he would have it. He would have it well done. I did as well. Argent absolutely, Argentina's the place to go. Are you allowed back in the country? Absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. Did they you didn't want me to leave? So would you go back Paul? to Argentina? And Aye, get well Paul, and Paul and I went to Argentina for a week ago. <laughs> right. Came back with how many players? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> but we had a fantastic time. Yeah. We went to a concert at the Bombonera. Um, <laughs> Came back with no players. No but, players. But we, went, we went to a great concert. At, <laughs> well, no, it wasn't in Bombonera. It was, um, what's the other big one? So if you two went together, who, sp who spoke Spanish? Who were you planning to talk to? No, we had a, we had a guide with us, didn't we? Right. We had a, a, a man, Horatio, took us everywhere, checked all the restaurants, Did you go well done game? steak. Did you go to any games? <laughs> Did you scout any games? players? Oh, well, we're, <laughs> We didn't quite manage. We didn't quite manage to get everything in, including the games, including the mission, including the games. Uh. <laughs> no, Argentina was brilliant. All the dancing in the street. What do you call the um, the tango? The tango. Ah, I walked in. You walked in the street and all these people doing the tango. It's fantastic. Jim Smith did that. Not in Argentina. Sorry, the late Jim what, Smith. No, Jim went to. <laughs> Jim, no, no, Jim went to Italy. No, it's about him coming back with no players. Jim went to Italy, year, obviously years ago, 25 years ago, 20 year plus, and they were there for two or three days at least, and he hadn't got a player, because he hadn't got the deals that he was trying to do over the line. And he turned to, I think it was Neil Sillett, and he said, we got to go back with somebody. He said, because the chairman will sack me if I don't go back with a player. So he ended up, somebody told him about Bayano. Do you remember Bayano? The little Italian guy, so he said, we'll Not take... Bayano. No, we'll take him. He said, we'll take him and go back. He turned out to be a star for them. But he was like the last resort and somebody went, he's available. And Jim went, yeah, we'll take him. <laughs> he said, so we'll go back to the chairman and we'll say, look what I've got. <laughs> So it was a more successful mission than Stevie's yeah. in Argentina. Yeah, it turned oh, out that was, was very successful. <laughs> successful, what are you talking about? Can, it was no, brilliant. Can you imagine him and... <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine him and Paul? <laughs> Seriously. In Argentina. <laughs> Wonderful. That was magic. We had a great time. What year was that, Stevie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, 2007, maybe? Right. Aye. Oh. Okay, Great for time. all. Great time. What was the architecture uh, like? Was it uh, lovely? Shaka's. Oh, what can you see in the dark? Very nice. <laughs> 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 for all. For all. Oh, well, the inside of a pub. <laughs> a philosophical Stevie recently said winning is the deodorant of a game oh, right. because it covers all bad smells. Right. <laughs> like well, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> You can be you can be absolutely <laughs> wrong, but you end up winning by an own goal Mark or something. Mark Twain, Stevie so, Nichol. There you go. <laughs> Covers all bad spells. <laughs> do, do you like that one, Shaka? <laughs> it's it's very Stevie-esque. It's probably the best way to put it. It's There's a lot really better true. ways to phrase that, but Stevie being Stevie. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it yeah. is. Do the other ESPN uh, FC panellists have similar words of wisdom for us? Do you have any similar words of wisdom, Shaka? <laughs> no, nobody's got similar words to Stevie. Let's just let's just leave that right there. That any mottos you follow, Craig, or any words of wisdom? Yeah. 
Deodorant is what? <laughs> deodorant is... Winning is the deodorant <laughs> of the game. Because <laughs> it covers game. all bad smells. Covers all bad... No, I've, I've got to tell you. I've got one at you, one at you. The man that never made a mistake never made anything. No. There you go. Yeah. I've got to tell you, I think you may be with me on this. Uh, you know when you walk into all these stadiums today and dressing rooms yeah. and they've got all these signs and all these things? Like, like that what, nonsense what, he came out with. The man that never made a mistake. Ah, all that. Never made it. All that. <laughs> Not the critic who counts. Oh, yeah. Ah. I, it drives me insane. You haven't got a little live, laugh, love? Oh, God. The, no, it's not a lot of nonsense. If anybody looks at that and goes, well, ah, I'll need to remember that when I'm playing. What's a lot of nonsense. Right. Well, it wasn't actually a sign, Stephen. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what I mean? All these, all these new, all these new stadiums. This is Anfield. All these psychologists now. You don't like that? No, it's a lot of rubbish. Absolute nonsense. But you like winning as the deodorant of a game because it covers all bad smells. That's his. Yeah. That, that's his sort of Amazon <laughs> documentary, Mikel Arteta, Team yeah, Talk. Exactly. When Stevie goes in yeah. to the New England Revolution and goes, look at this spray. Yeah. This is going to cover. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to mask your <laughs> rubbishness. Mediocrity. <laughs> yeah. Shh. There you go. Stevie, if you stand what? and face the sun, all your shadows fall I'll, behind. I'll get sunburned. <laughs> That'll do for the latest. Right, what if that deodorant's a roll on? Well, it's still deodorant, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a roll-on. You, you just put it yeah, on a different way. You guys not work on a roll-on. No, no. You just put it on a different way. Join us tomorrow. You put it on a different way, that's all. Thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.